Hello everyone, I'm Tiara Chardé. Welcome back, welcome back. Shout outs to the new subscribers, shout outs to the Soul Tribe. Thank you so much for liking and commenting. Be sure that you do so I know that you love the message. Um, all the links to book services with me are in the description box. I literally have a new workshop. I posted the Always Manifest Money ritual to the description box as well. And click on the esoteric shop so you could see most of what I am offering right now at this time, okay? So let's get into this message, my love. This is for my beautiful, beautiful cosmic wombs, my sister goddesses, those who are tapped into the astrals, who get downloads and dreams and your intuition be firing off all times of the day, this message is for you. So get cozy, get tea, all right? Get get your Mary Jane ready. Get you a little snack. All right, we about to go in real quick, real quick, okay? So this is really a call to unite, okay, goddess? Okay, my cosmic womb to unite spiritually and in the physical reality with other women who are like you, all right? That's important. Um, over the past few years, we have been talking about the importance of sisterhood. And, you know, if you have a tough time forming relationships with other women for various reasons, you know, maybe you were kind of a loner growing up or you were sheltered or whatever the situation is, um, now is the call to try to pull in those partnerships in your physical reality, right? We are also able to tap in spiritually. So telepathy is at an all time high between men, women, children, animals, the earth, between everybody, right? But when it comes to tapping into um, conversation with your cosmic sister, it's like instant, it's far reaching. You can get the downloads shared faster. Um, healing becomes more, um, it just becomes easier for you because you have a connection with other women who know what you're going through, who understand who you are. Like, oh, you're an oracle too, or you're a priestess too, or you're here to liberate souls as well and, and awaken the people, elevate consciousness. So come on through, let's, let's huddle up, let's braid each other's hair, and let's talk about how we're going to take over the world, right? So that's some of what is going on here. There also has been um, accounts, right, from people, testimonials, um, as well as downloads coming in about, you know, a perceived threat, you know, about energies and beings that do want to take the light from the oracles and the cosmic womb, right? I posted a video a couple days ago called A Wicked Plot. And it was really the divine coming in saying, look, say this, say this, this is going on. Y'all, if you haven't watched A Wicked Plot, that video I uploaded, make sure you do, okay? Because it has a lot of revelations and confirmations for many of you out there, all right? And um, y'all, I had emails. Did I get the email or did it, was it a DM? A DM and a text about what I had discussed in that stream, that upload, right? A Wicked Plot up, upload. Um, literally, my own intel had been telling me some things. And I posted videos. I mentioned it a little bit, you know. Um, and then I had someone else come to me. And, like, two people mention it. Like, you know, um, they mentioned it and it was someone that was really close to us. It was happening to. So we were able to, you know discuss the situation and figure out, okay, like what can be done, take precautions and blah, 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 right? So that was one incident. So that was my incident, the incident that I heard, the text and the phone call, and then there was another one um, or two more that took place in the DMs, confirming the message that I had been giving um, about this. And so I just wanna highlight this for a moment and then we'll get into the rest of the message. You have to understand that the cosmic womb, the goddess, the divine feminine has been a hot item for a long time, okay? The light, the divinity, the sacredness, the beauty, the connection to the celestial realms, the otherworldly celestial aura, right? The oracle, 
the priestess has always been highly sought after, okay? And then we, we get to women in general, right? Women have been highly sought after, highly coveted for a long time. Wars have been launched, honey. Look, dowries have been paid for women. And add on top of that, a woman who's tapped into her spiritual core is very valuable and you have people who want her, right? So that has always been the norm since woman was formed, okay? She's been a highly valuable vessel. Um, many of you, many of my cosmic wombs that I, I've been connecting with over the years, we talk about memories of the temples memories of being priestesses and in service to the goddess and in service to um, the earth and the celestial realms being deeply, deeply devoted to the call that's over our life. You have that memory and that memory is rooted in your DNA. It's rooted in your soul. That's why in this life you still have the the impression and you have the the pull to tap into your spirituality. That's where it comes from. It comes from the other lives and it comes from the telepathic communication between you and your other cosmic wombs, your other sacred goddesses, right? So that's, that's been um, what's going on. So now it's the same thing. Back then you had the, the desire for her, for the priestess, for the oracle, um, the witch, you know, whatever you like to call yourself. You had the desire for her. You had wars launched for her. You had her being attacked because people were jealous of her power and jealous of the way that she reigns supreme. And she does it effortlessly. She doesn't have to try ever, ever. Okay. You have people who are jealous of that. They want to feed on your light and your aura and your power, your magic, right? So just how that was going on back then is what's going on now. So a part of that situation was mentioned in the video I uploaded, A Wicked Plot. I can see that playing out. Um, you have a call right now. There's a call being set out for those who resonate with this message to protect Wom man, to protect the cosmic womb, to protect the priestess, the oracle. Okay, you have people who want her light. They've been dispatched, right? We've been talking about it. There's no need to fear though, priestess, because you're the priestess. You're the goddess. You're the alpha and the omega. This is what you're here to do. You're here to reign. You're here to stand tall. Okay, you are here in service of the goddess. You are the goddess returned. So there's a call for you to step into your power. I know a lot of times in this 3D, 3D reality, we kind of get caught up in the, in the movie, right? We get caught up in the script that we're supposed to be afraid and, oh no, we need somebody to come in and save us, right? When it's really not that. We are our own savior, right? Those who um, remember my poem, my spoken word, I was saying I was my own savior. Yeah, you are your own savior. You have the power and the magic to free yourself right now, priestess. And that is what this message and this download is here to, to show you, to tell you, okay? Many of you in your, your readings, I've been doing a lot of readings lately, and um, particularly for my, for my women, my sister goddesses, there, there's the energy in almost like, I don't know, like seven out of 10, there's this energy of being stalked and being desired by people who are mentally imbalanced. Also the energy of evil eye and spell work and energy manipulation. It was, it's all over the readings, all over the downloads that I'm getting. So we're just in this season. What that means is we're in this season of pushing through the, the fog, the smoke and mirrors and the illusion, breaking and annihilating all of that stuff, okay? Breaking and 
annihilating all of the illusions, the spell work, and all of that. And as we step more and more into this year, we're going to be liberated from these things, from these predators, from these plots and these plans. But first, we're needing to hear and know and see that it is happening and that it's going on. It needs your awareness that this is what's been happening and is happening and what you're needing to do, right? We talked about that as well in the assignment. Having the awareness, having the elevated consciousness to see and perceive in the spirit realm what is going on. And then now that you have the awareness, you can get the assignment. And the assignment in this hour is to unite, okay? It's very easy. Um, it takes some practice maybe, but we do go into it into the um, in the Pussy Portal program, right? One of the modules, five and six, teaches you how to protect your psychic um, gifts, protect your mind, protect yourself from telepathy because people can send you thoughts and you're so powerful, priestess, that you hear it and you take it in and you, some of you, you may think that it's yours at first. You may think that it belongs to you, but it, it's outside of you. It doesn't, it's somebody else's viewpoint of you. It's a projection. So the Pussy Porter program teaches you how to navigate that, also teaches you how to combat spiritual warfare because you have that gift. You have the gift of protection to protect yourself and to launch warfare too. The goddesses always knew how to protect themselves. The priestesses always knew how to protect themselves. So that's being um, downloaded right now for all of us, okay? So a practice that you can do right now or in your home whenever you have some time, especially if you're in the bathtub or you're in nature, right? You could close your eyes. You could just drop down into the womb space. We say it a lot. Many of you know we could put our left hand on our heart, our right hand on the womb, on the sacral chakra, and set your intention in that space. Like, hey, I'm trying to connect to the cosmic wombs out there. I wanna to connect to my sisters who are aligned with me, who understand what is going on, and also wanna be of assistance, right? Um, not everybody wants to be of assistance in the way that you are called to be of assistance, and that's okay. Everybody has different assignments, right? So for whoever resonates with this, connect with your sisters telepathically, and through the womb space, have a huddle up. Like, look, this is what's going on, okay? I'm perceiving through my third eye and through the messages coming through my womb that somebody is plotting on the priestesses. There's energy that's lurking and that's watching us. Um, it's causing dysfunction. It's causing instability. And I want to know what's up and I want to tap into my other sisters. And also I want to discuss how we are going to protect ourselves. That's a great conversation. Okay. Because I'm going to get that call and I'll be like, yo, what up? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that at all. But really, like, hey, what's up, girl? Oh, for real? All right, I'll meet you there. And we all just tap in. That's how it used to be. At least that's the downloads that I've been given over the years. So, you know, that information is in the Embodying the Goddess program too. It, that's always been our way, okay? We tap into the earth, we tap into the ethers, and we tap into the other oracles and seers, whether they're sitting right next to us or whether they are thousands of miles away. We've always had that ability, okay? So now is the call to unite um, and protect your energy, you know, Many of the women that I am in contact with, they're entrepreneurs, they're bosses, they're leaders, okay? Be mindful of the emails you receive, the DMs you receive, and people booking services with you, right? We've been saying this a lot, like, someone will book a service with you and you'll know that they're an agent, but because you know that they're an agent, you can successfully still take that client. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, I see that you're an agent and I'm still going to be of service because that's my call, but I'm also going to drop a little pixie dust on that ass so that divine justice can come in. Because I see that you're a con and I want to protect my other cosmic wombs from you, okay? That goes for 
friends that you come into contact with that you see doing fraudulent stuff that's um bosses that's people you're in relationship with right those people you can set that intention like oh wow i was genuine and this person tried to sabotage me okay Bring. yes i like to speak to the celestial realm i want to report somebody uh-huh yes here's my paperwork honey <laughs> and get it done we're not victims we're not powerless we've never been weak we've never been okay we've always been powerful and strong warrior goddesses we're not wilted flowers okay so i feel like that's a particular message for someone to to get angry right watch the video i did about this victory in your anger get mad because you have someone who does not deserve your crown coming for your crown and you're needing to stand firm in who you are and connect to the divine, connect to the most high and get your strength. Flex, flex those wings. Where's, where's your sword? Okay. Cause when I get on a phone, I'm like, okay, well you have your sword and your armor, right? You got those on. Yes. Sis. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so make sure you put those things on. All right. And it's war out here. Step into the game. Because I feel like there's a priestess, there's an oracle, there's a seer out there who hasn't really stepped in the field. You, 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 you know, your name is, is on the, it's on the sheet, but uh, your, your sword and your shield are still here, sis. They're, you haven't put those on. So this is also a call for my oracles and my priestesses to be leaders, to be on your throne you have a throne you have a crown but are you operating your throne are you reigning on your throne so that's also something that's being asked and it's coming into me too and i had to be like oh well wait a minute let me let me see let me let me find out okay maybe i'm not operating in the fullness of my abilities how can i fix that right so that is the message my love be mindful of the people who are coming in to talk to you there's a lot of energy vampires around. There's a lot of con men around. Um, so, again, they're not more powerful than you. They are not. They have never been. And you're needing to tap into your spirituality and your practices and your foundation and your sisterhood in order to remember that, to remind yourself of that. Also, some of you are being called to the Pussy Portal program. If it's calling to you, then it is for you. That is the intention over the program. I only want to work with people who are aligned with me, okay? This is not about enrollment. This is not about the numbers. This is about liberating the cosmic womb. This is about bringing divine love and divine justice to this time and space. And that is what we are doing. We are succeeding in that. Okay, so again, wherever you are, if you're able to, or later on this evening, I want you to tap into your portal. I want you to tap into your womb and align with your sisters who can pick up on your frequency and let them know what's up. Send them love, send them support, send them protection, okay? So if you have extra energy to share, if your cup is overflowing, just sprinkle a little bit on your sister. Maybe she needs a little, a little energy, right? She needs to resurge. She's been hit with a lot. She's been navigating things on her own. She needs your assistance. So if you're able to send some, send some energy to the goddesses out here, okay? That's that's what we are. That's who we are. That's what we're meant to do. All right, cosmic womb. That is the message for you. Um, I send you so much love. I'm so freaking proud of you. You're so powerful, so magical, so beautiful, and so worthy of all that you want and desire, okay? I will see you on the next message. Peace and love.